Let's take a look at a comparator, one without hysteresis and one with hysteresis. Now a comparator just compares two different voltages and changes the output accordingly. Then hysteresis sets the upper and lower threshold. So in this case, no hysteresis, we're using an LM339, and this pin here is going to be our reference voltage, and I'm putting in 5 volts here, 5 volts on the rail too. And so uh, this is a voltage divider, 10K, 10K, that means I'm going to put uh, 2.5 volts out here on our voltage divider. So this is going to be our reference voltage. Now, if the voltage coming into the pin here, the negative pin, is greater than 2.5 volts, pin 2 is going to go to ground, okay? And if it's less than uh, 2.5 volts, pin 2 here is going to go to the rail, here are going to be 5 volts. So that's why I have the LED up, up here, here, because the uh, when this goes to ground, I want the LED to light, and it's going to go to ground when this voltage is higher than the 2.5 volts down here. So that's all there is to a, to a comparator. Now, we don't want this switching on and off too faster when the voltage is fluctuating around the, the 2.5 level here. So we're going to add some hysteresis, okay? So here it is down here. The only thing we have to do is we just have to put a, a feedback resistor from our output back to pin pin 5 here, a positive pin right here. And what happens here is that if this pin here goes to ground, is just is grounded, that means that this resistor here is put in parallel with this resistor here to ground, okay? It'll be configured like this. So we have a voltage divider like this. This is 10K. These are all 10K. This means that's, that's 5K here, so we have 10K and 5K. And if we do the math, it comes out to, we put 5 volts in, we're going to get 1.66 volts out. So that's going to be our reference down there. But when this goes to the rail voltage to 5 volts, that's the same as putting this pin over here to this one, and it puts it in parallel with this resistor over here. So it's going to look like this here. So we're going to have our, our 5K here and our 10K down here. And when we put our 5 volts in, we're going to get 3.33 volts out over here. So if this, if th this pin here is greater than 3.3 volts, okay, then this is going to go to ground. And it's going to stay there until we drop below 1.66 volts down here. And when it goes to 1.66, this is going to go uh, to the rail voltage to 5 volts. And the LED is going to turn off. So uh, that's all there is to uh, adding hysteresis to it. So I'm going to, I have one here. And we'll see what it does here. Turn that on. Turn that on. Turn that on. So. I'm putting in uh, 5 volts here, and I'm going to drop the, Whoop. there we go, so it turned on at, uh, let me try that again, so it should be turning on at uh, 2.5, and it turns on about 2.6 volts, okay? And it goes off as soon as it drops below that. So on and off, on and off right there. So uh, we're going to add some hysteresis. We're going to just add that other uh, resistor in there. I've got it right here. I put that in there. Now, according to the math, I should get up to uh, 3 volts or so, 3.3. And uh, it came on at, uh, well, 2.8. But then it doesn't go off until I get down to 2 volts, okay. And it goes on for 2 to keep going up, 2.8, okay. Well, now I could change the, uh, the resistors in here and, um, you know, the math doesn't work out perfect because there's some losses in the, this... Uh, comparator here and that, but uh, we can adjust the, uh, the resistance to, uh, you know, get ever, whatever uh, uh, effect you want there, whatever um, hysteresis you want on there. And hysteresis is just that the voltage difference between the, when it's on and off. So this is going to, works out fine. There we go. We have 2.8 and it goes off at 
two volts okay so that's it that's uh, compared with hysteresis thank you